Hello guys and welcome to another video by Games Rage Gaming and in this video today I'm just going to be doing a really quick review on the brand new Overflood Entity XXR which is available from the Legendary Motorsports website. So if you want to purchase this guys all you need to do is head over to the website and as you can see this is the brand new set of cars which has been released, one of five. And as you can see this is the most expensive car released in the new update at a cost of 2.305 million so don't forget you will need roughly another million to spend on full upgrades but other than that guys I mean the car itself it's it's one of the nicest looking cars in the game slightly better than an x80 and obviously it has full acceleration as well once you've fully upgraded it so this is the stock version right here which you will get of the vehicle so I've ordered mine in white so as you can see white does actually look quite decent on the car especially with the black at the back and all these new cars they're releasing this so hopefully there's going to be mansion updates coming out soon as well but all we're going to do at the moment guys is we're just going to take it to the mud shop and just fully customize the vehicle So first of all we have armor which obviously we put 100%, next is race brakes followed by the highlight front bumper and the highlight rear bumper, next is engine level 4 and the triple exhaust on the exhausts, also we're going to have the carbon hood on this vehicle along with the Liberty City loop horn as we always do and again we're going to have the Exion lights with the crew colour as the backlight plate we're going to have some custom plates and respray on this vehicle I mean I've applied normal standard crew colour here at the minute uh, inside as the trim we're going to have the crew colour as well which is it's a slightly modded blue but the closest one you're going to get in trim colour is a standard blue so we're going to go for ultra blue on that and of course we're going to put crew emblem on the side as well But well, because chrome looks so nice on this vehicle, we're going to firstly apply chrome as the primary colour. And we're going to apply the crew as an overlay so it's a blue chrome. And then we're just going to pick a pearlescent which will make it kind of glow in the dark a bit more. And it will be much easier to see underneath the blue chrome as well. Next is the actual the spoiler of the vehicle. Now we're going to have the carbon spoiler which makes it look quite decent and as long as the spoiler is not longer than the car that's absolutely fine. Next obviously don't forget to apply your bulletproof tyres and we're going to have standard high end tyres stock rims so we can change the colour to the blue as well. And that's literally customization done for this vehicle now guys. As you can see, not many customization options. A lot of them are kind of standard as what you have on every other vehicle. So let's see how the 2.3 million car performs on the road. Now first thing when you come out, acceleration obviously is completely full. So it will do 0 to 60 in around about one and a half, two seconds. So top speed is not full on this vehicle. So vehicle wise, you have to consider the weight of the vehicle versus how fast it can go and as you can see it goes pretty fast but this is still not the fastest vehicle in the game and you will notice that just because of the speed the handling is not actually that decent on this vehicle so you will end up crashing and also the speed speedometer is kind of hard to see for this vehicle I've got it to just over 140 which is exactly the same as the, the Pariah does So overall guys, if you want to buy a vehicle, to be honest, I would just recommend to go back in time and purchase the Pariah, as I still think the Pariah is still one of the bestest vehicles in the game, along with the handling as well, once you get used to it. But this car just deserves to be up in the sky and broken, 
because it does not deserve the price tag of 2.3 million dollars so that's it for this review guys i hope you enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe down below and if you have any questions just leave a comment and i'll get back to you soon even if I'm out to nothing, I know there's always something It's not a fitness test, but it'll always keep me running One good thing about music, when it hits you, feel no pain So I keep it close to me, make sure it never goes away, uh